if playing every game ever has taught me anything, if you're randomly excavating and you find something that suddenly doesn't look like mountain and instead looks like some sort of buried temple, uh, it probably is a buried temple, in fact, and it was probably buried for a reason. Usually involving something inside it. Oh, no, this looks like a bedroom. Okay. They look like bloody snazzy bedrooms, though. Look at this place. Now that is a very, very well-appointed room. I approve. I approve enormously. Also the doors. Right, well, um, you see, I want all of this. So. Oh. Well, that's just annoying. Hang on. It seems that I could only take the stuff in that room. How curious. How exceedingly curious. <gasps> oh! Right. Okay. I see. Um. I mean, it looks like... I mean, I, to I totally... <laughs> Might have robbed the puzzle room and left, yes. Uh, I guess in this situation it would be something along these lines. An opposite? Oh no, that one, that one's in the right place. I gotta put these? Yes, okay. Oh. You see what's happening over here? All the furniture is moving one tile to the to the right and then overflowing back to the left so this bed moves to the right everything in here moves one to the right the bed because it crosses this threshold moves back to the left so yeah that that's a pretty simple puzzle actually Dunk. there we go Dunk. that looks solves the puzzle I completely missed it. I was thinking Forbidden Temple. It actually was just a puzzle. However, now the question is, please, 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 please. And, ha ha! Best puzzle ever. Thank you. Thank you very much, bye. Loot. True, the victor goes to spoils. That's the way this works. The spoils, in this case, are loot, glorious loot. Okay. Hello. Ah, look, the pecs pulsating to the unmistakable rhythm of the iron. This must be the place. This scaffolding ain't the best, Nick, though. I don't even look like we can climb the flipping thing to sink our picks into the metal up top. What do you reckon, Avak? Think you could draw us up one of your famous blueprints? Once that thing's repaired, I can send the lads up without having to worry about them falling off and breaking their necks. Or bruising their pecs. Donk! <laughs> My character sounds so pleased with himself. <laughs> Avak drills sturdy scaffolding blueprints, okay. I just need stone ladders, ladders, and sconces. Sorted. Is that the blueprint for the scaffolding? Looks like you've got this all figured out. As soon as the ladder and platform are fixed, me and the lads will shammy up there. Uh, sorry, show me up there to get work on the scene. We'll need a nice long ladder to get up there. Get the first few rungs in place, then you can build the rest as you climb. Yep. If you're looking for somewhere to work, you're building magic, and there's a workbench just over there. Thank you. Right. These are going in my backpack for later. I'm gonna need these. And gonna need sconces. Whether I have the copper for the sconces, I do, thank goodness. Right. So, one there. And I'm assuming one here as well. And 
level two. Now the ladder all the way up. I'll not place it. Yep. And then two sconces on either stone. Perfect. Crystal Lily, hey Amak, just came by. It's been some time, but I've been but um binging on your videos on YouTube. I'm up to five, I think. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Glad I got to catch on life. Well, I'm very glad to have you here. Uh, Ruby Wolfire, I, I can hear the travel up. Thank you, though, for making sure that I, I um, didn't miss it. Terrific job, Amak. Now we can reach the iron all the way up on the roof. I wanted to do that, the, complete this quickly first, because I don't know how much more time we've got in the day. I, I could have looked, actually, but that was silly. Um, and I don't want them clocking off before they've had a chance to mine some of the iron. Gotta say, the scaffolding looks sturdy as, uh, sturdy as. It's bleeding brilliant having a builder like you on. And making no mistake. Uh, on and make no mistake rather now the scout fold is in place we can take our mining to an all new level <laughs> yeah, no. all right lads it's time to get digging you too have I? get your armor out mark rock wanted you to bring in 10 lumps of the gray stuff right well all up all the iron we find ourselves later on keep an ear out for the next evening report yeah oh and just a friendly reminder make sure you activate the navaglobe over there before you leave you'll regret it if you don't yeah thank you Yoink. Can I even... I suppose that is uh, an answer, yes. Slow, but I can. Uh. Avak obtains a chunk of iron! Avak video series are hard to binge. I turn away from one minute in the series, like Cataclysm or Rimworld, and completely lose the plot. Uh, yeah, they can be a little bit. Eureka! Avak learns a new recipe. The VODs, on the other hand, because I don't cut them as much, I'm not as heavily editing the stream VODs. If it takes me an hour to get one quest done, the whole hour will be in, in the video. Um, so it's harder to lose the plot with a gap of like five or ten minutes as a result of that. Foxelet, thank you very much for six months. It was very, very kind of you. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Heavy hunk of purified iron. Yes, please. What was that you just picked up? Was it iron? Old man Magrock said he wanted 10 lumps, so we can't stop yet. Let's try and find some more. Okay. Yep. Up. Pow! And again. And again. There we go. Nope. Oh, really? Listen here, lads. The light's fading fast, so we'd better get cracking with today's accumulation declaration. Oh, iron might not be able to be broken by. That's a good point, because it's a rusty one. I'm assuming that there's a non-rusty one, and that basically there are tears. Come around, lads. It's time to kick off today's declaration, and it looks like we've bagged a bumper all. First up is Avakshay, and he won't be disappointed. 68 lumps of coal, 20 lumps of iron, and 14 chunks of copper, and that's all. What? what? Here's your share, Goldie Rocks. 350 lumps of copper. You get. Well, that got significantly easier. My lord, and thank you, whoever just gifted a sub to Crystal Lily. That is incredibly kind of you. Thank you very much, anonymous gifter. 260 more lumps, so basically one day. All right, that's it a lot. You boys deserve a digger's sugar or two. Indeed they do. Oh, blimey. You made short work of that ten bits of iron in the bag already. How abundant you got. And uh, How about you go and give them lots of magrog and leave some for the rest of us? Well, I mean... Oh, and Avak, I don't know if you're aware, but there's two levels to these mines. An upper one and a lower one. I reckon we've explored pretty much all we can up here. Why don't you and me see if we can't find the way down to the lower level before you head up to see Magrog? Luckily for you, I know just the place to start looking. Follow me, Ev. Uh, okay. Give me a second, though. I got it. So, ouch! My legs. My legs. My dancing career is over. Why? 
Why? Yep. Oh no, so that's the most of the stream. And now I'm off to work. Guess I'll watch the vault in the evening. Oh, don't worry, Lady uh, Diana Moon. The vault will be up on YouTube, as always. I'm back active to Navi Club. You can now warp to the Iron Dick side. Hooray! Right then, Avak. We know what we've got to do. Rebuild the pub, revive the mine, and we'll have this place looking less dreary in no time. And to help get speed things along, I'm going to motivate the madness myself with some good old fashioned violence. Uh, I mean, you know, let's, let's be honest, it's probably quite effective. Pain is about seven times more effective than pleasure at teaching a lesson. So you're on the right track. Even if ethically you're becoming more and more bankrupt by the day. Yep. I want those bars. Hello. Hmm, looks like a dead end. Sorry to drag you all the way down here, have I? But if me quivering quadriceps are to be believed, I'd say there's another tunnel behind this blocky rockage. Problem is, the stone looks too hard to crack. I don't think that mallet of yours is up to the job, or your rusty wrecking balls neither. You're welcome to try, but I say, have a word with Magrog. See what old glossy bonds thinks. Maybe Mr. Master Metalworker would be able to knock up something with that iron you find. I mean, I'd like to. Alright. I think we'll head back then. Womp. After crumble, then we go. I agree. Great. Oh, wow. So much appreciation. I am appreciated. This is good. Ah, you found the iron. I take it the miners are able to work the seams now. A builder like you could make some useful tools out of iron. A metal mallet would break blocks better than the wooden thing you see, I, I've seen you flailing around. But more importantly, what's the situation with you and Babs? What? What do you mean? You don't know what I mean. Pa, don't play dumb with me, laddie. I saw the look in her eyes when she handed you those shrooms on a stick. Don't get getting the wrong idea. I'm not come competing for Bab's affection like those hooligans. I just want to know that I have to do to get some of her delicious home cooking myself. So, about these shrooms she gave you. Are there any left of us? Mind sharing a little with me? At least let me lick the juice off the stick. Oh my good lord, Magrock. Uh, is it just me, or have you noticed that whenever Babs comes up, the people here start acting all strange? Yeah. Love, you say? Never heard of it. Really? I thought you loved destroying things. If you find any, can you give me a bit? <laughs> that sounds so sweet. That's, that's so naively cute. If you find any of this love stuff hanging around, can you keep hold of some? I'd like to, to investigate. I need to study it. Microscope. Andy, thank you very much for gifting a sub to Kubutashi. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you. Right, let's go grab my shit. Yoink. All of this, please. Thank you. Right, I want some iron. Lots of iron. All of the iron. You know what? Let me just go for it for ten. Donk. And over here, all of the copper. There we are. Should be good. So you finally got your hands on some iron, eh? You're making good progress down there. But it won't be plain sailing, I promise you that. Sooner or later you'll bump into a section of the tunnel. Too tough for that wooden mallet. You'll need a hard ha hard ham if you want to break those rocks. And for that, we'll need a smithy. A blacksmith's home away from home. I want you to make the walls entirely out of iron blocks. I find surrounding yourself with iron brings out the best in a blacksmith. You starting to sound more and more like an alchemist every, every time I talk to you. Instead, I want a forge, a leather sack, a pot, and a chest. Then we'll be in set for some serious ironmongery. All right. Uh, would, would, my, would my house, would my workshop be a possible place for this, maybe? Perhaps. Hmm. 
Can I move my workshop? I can. Perfect. Right, okay, let's move you back here. Dunk. Mm, I need stone. Oh, all right. Um. Move that. Right, let's not destroy that. Can't make it. I shouldn't break it. Right, there we go. Right, okay. Um. At this point, I pretty much want to take everything off. Really? Oh, right. My bad. Down we go. There we are. Perfect. Let's get this place cleaned up, but... I want to have a proper floor down here, obviously. Oh! I... Really? I can destroy metal blocks now? When did that happen? I mean, I could probably finish the pub at this point, then. But I'd rather have a source of metal blocks rather than uh, finish the pub. So let's, let's continue focusing on this for now. I did level my destruct destruction skill. Did I really? Are you sure about this, Leafy? I don't remember this happening. Yoink. Right. Okay. So, I've got 19 stone blocks. And I think these are the perfect blocks for placing as the floor in the smithy. Oh, I love building like this. So convenient. I right, need to go and find more of these blocks, though. Yes, that's right. You scarper, you. Don't want any of your shenanigans, please and thank you. I'm gonna have to rip these places down. Uh, do I have any light sources? I do. I can place a couple to keep myself safe. One there. One there, for example. One there. I'll do. Uh, I do need something to eat, though. And. Bonk. Try and take these up. There we go. There we are. And because I'm not a complete nasty pasty, let's uh, replace these with something resembling supports. I'll do. I need to make more of those supports, honestly. Do I have... Oh, I've got these blocks. That'll do. And I know, I know, it almost certainly doesn't actually need to be supported. It doesn't matter to me, though. I want to support it if I can. Could rip all of this up. Oh yeah, it's quite a lot here actually. Yep. Yeah. We'll probably get a uh, a recipe to make stone blocks soon enough. But whilst I don't have them, then I'm gonna be quite happy to do a little bit more work just to make sure that we've got a nice uh, floor. For the smithy, it feels like an important building. There we are. Oh, definitely want this as well. And this one. And as many more as I can get. And this one. I feel that I'm being led on a merry chase. Where am I going to end up? How, how deep does this rabbit hole go? Not that deep, apparently. Okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> the sound of it snoozing is actually incre incredibly sweet. Yeah. Uh, 
think this is about right. Yep. And I need two more supports. Uh, this'll do. There we go. Sorted. Let's go and get this floor back in place. I'm hopeful that we've got enough, but we might be shy a little bit. No, no, no. Oh, okay, no, fine, whatever. I am blocking the way. There we go. Yeah, we should have enough then. Perfect. got 30 iron so far. I mean, obviously, if you made a small room, it would be a lot less costly. For really obvious reasons, considering I have to make the entire wall out of iron, but... Uh, can I move this while it's there? Oh, I can while it's cooking. I mean, it's not the smartest thing in the world to do, but uh, sure. Okay, this back on the go. Need some parts. Actually, I'd like this moved back in. There we go. Wrong way. There we go. There we go. Uh, actually, we'll give a little bit of room on that side. There we are. Now, what was it? Three parts, I think it was? One next to the anvil, one next to the forge, and we'll pop one down here as well, I suppose. Or maybe we'll... Oop, that is not what I want. Let's go ahead and build up some of the iron blocks then. And it's going to be a fairly expensive one. One pot, one stack, one chest. Oh, really? In that case, then don't need this. Thank you very much for the uh, advice. Really? No. I refuse. Get out of it. I need to make some more weapons for my uh, townspeople, actually. There's a hundred. Okay, never mind. Uh, we're probably fine then. <laughs> well, actually, no, that, is, that isn't quite true. We're probably still not exactly fine, but it's better. I don't know. This, this feels a little bit excessive, I'm going to be honest. And if it's what you need to be a smith, then fine. We'll have the door over here. Let's grab out some iron. Actually, we're going to move the pots around a bit. We'll have the pot there. We'll have the tool right there. Another pot over here, I suppose, will be fine. We need a sack and we need a door. Can I make two? I can make two. Let's go ahead and make two. And we need... Where's the sack? There we are. This, we need... Oh, we haven't quite enough of that yet, but 
probably the next day we will. There we go. Small room. Hmm. What else is needed then? I'll grab all of that while I'm here. Oh, Pabs is already getting mushrooms going. Excellent, Pabs. Ah, there we are. What do I need? Uh, what's else wanted to be made out of iron blocks? You can't forge quality iron unless you live and breathe the stuff. Inside, one of your forge, a leather sack, a pot, and a ch ah, and a chest, of course. Always forget the chest. There we go. A copper bar. Uh, what is this considered right now? What do we need? It's just a signage. I think the two pub signs and the three dartboards are all we need. Oh, that's fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. You're hidden behind here. What on earth are you doing? And you know what? I don't want to know. I don't want to know what you're doing behind the bar in that tiny little space. That is not for me to ask. So, Babs is able to just keep making... Wow, okay. Babs, that's amazing. You just, you're just making more and more and more food. How glorious. Actually, you know what? Pop this over here. Like that. Maybe have this. Like that, that's fine. This way. And have this in here as well. Oh, it's a three by three. Oh, that's a shame. All right, we'll have to make another room then for that. Oh, oh, we're really tired. Om nom nom. Also another one. There we go. Look, I'm building. I can't help it. I get distracted. Should I make this a little bit wider so I can have more? Yes, yes, that's what we're going to do. That's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to pop that down there. I really need that heavy hammer, though. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's a fantastic suggestion in chat. You are... Far, far smarter than me. That, that being said, it's going to look odd to have that there anyway. In that case. But I do agree that uh, with this we'll be able to have two forges facing this way. Maybe I should just have the... the uh I should just not have the workbench in there. Perhaps I could have the workbench out here instead. Yeah, I think that's actually a better setup. Never mind me, but thank you, chat. You actually saved me a lot of um, faffing around building that. And we want a chest. Do I not have one? There we are. More smithy. There we go. Okay, everyone seems happy with it. I'm very glad by this.
Right. Oi, right, come back. I'm not done with you. Good job with the new smithy, Avak. You've got a real knack for this kind of thing. Ah, the smell of freshly smelted iron has never smelled so good. We can do great work in the smithy like this. But making ingots is a time-consuming task. We could work more efficiently with two forges on the go. I'll leave the final decision up to you. More to the point, have you tried your hand at the ironmonger yet? Maybe the heavy metal paneling will provide some food for thought in your, that builder's brain of yours. Just imagine forged iron clashing against solid rock. I'm sure something will come to mind. I know they say you can't rush creativity, but have you really not figured it out yet? Sledgehammer, a massive mallet made from solid iron. Attack plus six can break very hard blocks. Sledgehammer, of course. I knew you'd figure something out, Avak. A hardened hammer like that won't bounce off uh, won't bounce off tough rocks like the weak wooden thing. Well, time to break out the anvil and elbow grease. Have you got everything you need to make it? If not, it's back down the mine you go. Well, okay, fair enough. Uh, I'll be right back. Also... I made that door, that second door, for a reason. Hmm. We need to move this back, though. I suddenly recall that you can't actually have a room that is uh, only one... Um... Oh, I need that to rotate. Thank you. No, no, come on. You can't have a room that's only one, uh, uh, two by one. You have to have it larger. I should have some adobe around here. Actually, sure. Let's, uh, oh. My bad, my bad. No, no, damn it. There we go. Why? Why you do this? There we go. Right, with that done, we should be able to place this in position. Have a nice uniform floor. And look, it's not much. But it... Oh. Does this not work? I mean... Does that not count as a room? Oh, wait. No, no, no. It counts corner blocks. That's right. Tiny room. I need a towel. The queue outside this is going to be painful to observe, but there you go. Enjoy, everyone, as much as you can. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry it's not better. Really am. Sorry, everyone. Super sorry. We'll make a better one later. <laughs> it's better than nothing. Right, so uh, we need to make a sledgehammer. I may need to use the anvil. Yeah. Okay, that's all I need. So let's go ahead and make that. That looks like it's made for war rather than than building. Smash even the stone of stuff. stuff. How about? What the heck is that? It looks kind of like your old hammer, but much more smashy. It really suits you. But the real proof of the pudding is in the smashing. Let's go and test that thing out on some poor unsuspecting rocks. But how come you're only one who gets the shiny new toy? I want you to make something nice and dangerous for me too. Uh, okay. I'll take care of that in a moment. After we're done with these guys. Yep. 
Now, one thing I haven't seen so far is any, like, boss mobs. So we haven't got any new uh, equipment out of that yet. Like, new equipment um, types. Listen here, lads, the lights fading so far. Oh, really? The accumulation declaration? Gather around, lads. It's time to kick off today's declaration, and it looks like we've uh, bagged the bumper all. Again! First up is Avic Shen. 41 lumps of coal, 8 chunks of iron, 14 chunks of copper, and that is all. And here's your share called the rock, 266 lumps of copper. Thank you, Mimi. <laughs> One more co co Really? Then me become copper golem. Really? One? One more. That's a fine sledgehammer you've crafted there, Abak. I'm sure you'll be able to put it to good use down in the mine. When I see you, sledgehammer in hand, it fills me with confidence. If anyone can rebuild the pub and revive the mine, you can, Abak. But there's something I've got to get off my chest. We've got to get the children of Hargon off this island. They've been running the show around here for too long. No matter how many of us see the light and reject Hargon's ways, so long as his lackeys are still around spreading their lies, we'll never bring the good days back to Crumbledon. This island is ruled, ruled by the Underseer, one of the children's top brass. If you can defeat her, it'll put Crumbledon back in our hands and give Hargon a proper poke in the eye. Ah, uh, okay. Curse you, one left. Also, good morning. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit rough. Um... Let's have a look then. I mean, I can make this. I can make more or less an infinite supply of this, right? Uh, why would I make that when I can make this? Donk. And also this. Basic buckler hardened by hand. Oh no, actually, a pot lid has got better defense. Uh, Alright. I can make a couple of those, but I don't know if anyone wants them. Donk. Wow, look at me! Now that is snazzy! Super snazzy. My goodness. Actually, is there like a photo mode? No. Oh, actually no, snapshot. Donk. Oh yes, of course, you go into snapshot mode and uh, take a picture of your eyes. I might do it at some point, but look at that! That is a builder who means business. Oh, yes. I no longer need this. Now I'm a builder who means business. I've had enough of monsters breaking my stuff. Clearly. Uh, oh, I need to go and collect some more stuff. Get a little bit more iron on the go. And copper, of course. There we go. Right, now I need to make a couple of items, and namely two of these. Two pub signs, please. And three dartboards. There we go. Now, is my Mega Smash size increased with the new hammer? You know what? Let's go and try it. So... Well, one, I can just go through those now. No, it's exactly the same as it was before. Chunk, like so. Marvellous. Truly. Watch out, Abak. You got yourself a sledgehammer now. Sounds like the, just the two we've been looking for. Remember that rocky blockage, Dougie said, you couldn't break down? Well, I reckon that new armor of yours could do a smashing job on it. Yeah. Alright, before you go, take these. I made them myself, you know, in case you get angry down there. Ah, uh, mushrooms on a stick, fantastic. Thank you very much, Babs. Those tunnels are cold and dark, not to mention dangerous. You and Marloth, uh, Malroth, watch each other's backs down there, okay? We will, no doubt. I mean, he sometimes forgets, but... Again? Listen here, Avak. I'll let you take your lunch, but I'll never let you take your art. That belongs to me. Now, ain't you got an armor to be swinging somewhere? Off your trot, then. Down the mine. Or you could just wrap it all the way to the iron dick side. Uh, warp, sorry. You may as well cut the, the leg work. Your destination has been added to the map. Fantastic. But before then, 
Donk. 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 Dart party? What? Improvements to the bar make the miners more motivated. Now they'll mine even more metal. Well, that's fantastic. They're actually all playing darts. I think, though, you're playing... You're not... I mean, you should... You're very close. Very, very close. Stupendously close, in fact. Is Babs delivering um, more drink? Because that's quite aw awesome she is. Uh, right, next up. Where do I need to put these? Pub sign. Oh, one behind the bar. Okay. That is not where I needed to put it. I've made a pub. Um, I mean, that's great and all, but it's not actually where I needed to put that. So, you just hold tight. Okay. So much gratitude. Nope. Nope. Dunk. There we go. Enormous basic bar. I've completed the copper bar. You don't think they could play from any further away with helmets like those? That's actually a really good point. Build a bar. Complete. The copper bar is completely rebuilt. Now the miners will mine more metal. Ah, back. You finished rebuilding the pub. I just love what you've done with it. I'm sure Dad will be thrilled to bits with his new gaff. Come on, let's go and tell everyone the good news. I think they can all see. <laughs> They're all there. Oh, wow. Oh, Havak, do favor for me. Thank you, Havak. Off to a good start, all right? When the gold rush hits again, there'll be so much metal pouring out of that mine, you won't believe your eyes. And when Babs pulls on that cottontail costume, your peoples will pop out at on stalks. I know mine will. <laughs> uh, that's as may be. But I ain't stepping in a single fishnet unless you do everything Goldie Ross asks for first, remember? Babs kind. Babs caring. Babs become dancing girl for me. Me not worthy. Don't worry, Goldilocks. Goldie Rocks, rather. I ain't putting myself out. I've always wanted to be a dancer like me, dear old mum. The only reason I've waited is to get these wa uh, wasters working. Speaking of which, there's a little matter of Goldie Rocks' other favour. How's that coming along, Ever? Well, I, you know, I'm, I'm getting to it. I'm, I'm one copper away, damn it. Actually, can I give you a couple? I don't think I can. I think Golden Rocks has to be... Because if I try to talk to Golden Rocks, just ask him to get more metal. Fix up the tunnels. Uh, that's what I've done. Oh, well, no, sorry. That, that will be done soon. We still need one more lump to become Copper Golem. It's fine. We'll get you there. Don't you wonder. Uh, don't you worry. Now... I have the means to make better flooring here, is the question. It's a pretty important question, actually. I could probably make stupendous amounts of... Copper or iron for flooring, maybe. That, or... Ooh, this. I like this idea. I approve, me. Let's mine all this up. I do need to get them better weapons, though. What if I want to make them walk on copper or iron blocks? What if I want their feet to, to stick to the, to the floor? What if, I, what, what if I want the heat to callous those trotters? So that when they're down the mine, they have no reason to complain. Sure that you're a good, good guy in this story. Like, I, 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 I. Shut up, Levin. <laughs> and over here. Oh, come on. But yeah, I think this uh, this rock flooring will look quite nice. 
got a, a pretty solid texture to it. And I think that's going to be important for the floor. Okay, so... Trial. Now, I've got 110 bits. I don't need it to go anywhere but in there. There we go. And... Womp. Perfect. Womp. Okay. I mean, I could do with a bit better for there, but that's fine. Gonna need to fix those little bits manually, it seems. That's annoying, but okay. Is there an easy way for me to um can I reduce the size of that tool? I know, I'm sorry everyone, I'll get it fixed in a moment. Actually no, you can stay there. It's all good. I need the stone blocks. What I want to do, damn it. Right, where are the monsters? Oh, that was a silly place to go. Uh, this is an awkward time for me to be trying to gather the gratitude from the toilet, my lord. Uh, right, okay, so. It just seems that there's a very, um, it has to be a certain size. It doesn't, doesn't have a narrower area, which is kind of not what I want, but it's fine. That works for now. Look at that. That's a much better, but it's going to be dusty as all heck, but it'll do. That's sorted. That is a lot nicer now, I think. Oh, it looks gleaming gorgeous, in fact. There we are. Okay, so, fix up the tunnels, next task. What is that? Well, let me go and have a look. Nothing else. I can make a bunch of these for my, for the people around the town, maybe. Ten copper swords, please. Thank you. You want it? No. You can have one. You can have one. Do you like one? No. Would you like one? No. Babs, you want one? Yes. Of course Babs wants one. Okay, well that's good enough for now, I suppose. Uh, I mean, in terms of the damage output, this does 40, whereas I'm fairly certain my current weapon does a tiny amount by comparison. 
only 20. But, you know, it has a, an ability to get instant kills, and that's really, really, really good. Gobble down some more meat. Of course Babs can fight. Yeah, we could pop down to all kinds of paths around here, which would be kind of cool. But I think for the time being, we're good. I'm going to ring the bell just so I get all of the uh, appreciation. That's good. Right, well, with that done. The yeah, ending's the excited is. Uh, if I leave ore in the forge, does Magrog deal with it? You know what? You might. It'll be very good to see. Okay then. Nice of you to join us, Avak. But why have you brought that smug look with you, eh? What we need a particularly powerful... Eh? You make yourself a sledgehammer? Sounds like just what we need to shift this blockage. Well, there ain't no time like the present, Avak. I want to see how your new toy sizes up to them rock-hard blocks. Very well. Kapow! Okay. Anything else in here I want to pay attention to? I mean, the sand is kind of interesting. Leaves me with an impression that there's something, uh... Behind those walls. Lanterns. So we've got some coal over here. Mm. And some moles down there. Oh, wow. Oh, what on earth are you? No. No, thanks. Uh, you poisoned me, you scoundrel. That is a horrific looking creature, but uh, oh well. Alright. Ooh. 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 Oh, this looks nice. Right. How about bushes of this, Avak? There's wet stuff all over the shop. And it's cold water. As miners ain't exactly the strongest swimmers, if we got swept into this lake, it'd be curtains for the lot of us. Sorry, Avak, but we can't go no further. Hang on, that. See them chains? Have a quick shimmy up and see if... Uh, see if you can find out where all this water's coming from, will ya? I'm sure I can try Try plopping down a few blocks and see if you can plug the leak. Sure. I didn't realize change could be climbed. Well, now don't I feel the stupid. You let me let me off, silly chain. My lord, tried to kidnap me. Lantern over there. This place looks gorgeous. Lands down there. This place is absolutely wonderful looking. I approve. I will block it with a really hard stone. In fact. They put us up to the leak, Avak. You're an absolute legend. Now we can head down to the lower level. I wonder what we'll find. Thanks a million, Avak. Now we can uh, head on over to the bridge without having to worry about drowning. I've got a question. How did this big puddle get here in the first place? That ain't no puddle, Malroff. It's an underground lake. Beautiful, isn't it? This mine's hiding more mysteries than we can possibly imagine. The old tales tell of mystical temples, forgotten shrines, and hidden treasures so valuable they're invaluable. These tunnels might be dark and deadly, but if the stories are to be believed, they're chock a block with adventures. Uh, just waiting to happen. Okay. I mean, you know, I completely believe that. Also, we. Sorry, Mara. How did you get above me? Shit! What? Really? Uh, this is significantly easier to get. What did we just pick? We picked up cotton! I 
approve. I approve so much. <gasps> More awesome stuff. Well. Yeah, we don't really want to play with those things down there, really. They seem like they would do me more harm than good. Let's salmon our way back up here. Uh, hello? Anything over here? Maybe, maybe not. There you go. Sorry, Malroth. I really am. I know I don't look it or sound it, but that's just... Yeah, you're just confused. Probably is too much water in your ears. But truly, I am deeply, deeply saddened by the fact you keep falling off. And I never, ever laugh about it. Not even once. I never, ever, ever try to make it happen. I want that lantern, though. More cotton. Oh, hello. Need directions, Gooman? It's easy to lose your bearings in these tunnels, but if you ooze your map, you'll soon see which way to go. I mean, I know I, I, know I could, but do I want to? Is more the question. I kind of want to explore the wholeness of this room. There's all sorts of fantastic things down here. I want to find them all. 